The Budapest Castle District is built upon a limestone hill. You can explore the unique limestone caves within Castle Hill, which were carved by the erosion of underground hot water springs. Nearby are some man-made caves, which have been used to store wine since the 18th century. And one of them now houses the Borkata Comba restaurant. Guests are greeted at the entrance with an apricot brandy. The kitchen is run by chef Josef Reves. He serves up to 300 guests every evening. He likes to use generous amounts of herbs and spices, but he insists that Hungarian cuisine isn't as spicy as people think. That's just a rumor. Hungarian cooking uses a lot of standard garden herbs as well as garlic, but undoubtedly a lot more paprika than any other cuisine in the world. Tourists from all over the world come here for traditional Hungarian dishes and wine in an authentic setting. We use a typical Hungarian decanter, which we fill by drawing the wine directly out of the barrel. It's a lovely and very striking way of pouring wine. We serve roughly 58 different wines, give or take. We have reds, whites and rosés. And of course, we also serve the king of Hungarian wine, Tokai. Tokai goes particularly well with goose liver pate, another Hungarian speciality. Visitors can even help the chefs at work. Right now, they're making the side dishes for a main course. It's a pretty exciting experience. <laughs> this dish is ready to go. Medallion of pork wrapped in bacon with potato cakes and lecho, a thick vegetable stew. Made of peppers, tomato and onion, it's a staple of the Hungarian diet. Lecho can be eaten with fresh bread, rice, egg or sausage. You can also pat it out with vegetables like eggplant and zucchini. Lecho isn't hard to make. First, simmer some chopped bacon in a pan. Then sauté some onions in sunflower oil. Add some mild ground paprika and a little water to stop it from burning and keep stirring. Then add some chopped Hungarian white pepper, stir well and simmer for 10 minutes. A lot of countries have their own version of lecho, but they tend to be prepared differently. In France it's called ratatouille. Different countries bring their own skills to their cuisine and it depends on the ingredients available. To serve, sprinkle with chopped bacon and mix in slices of paprika sausage or salami. Add tomatoes and some hot green pepper. Season with paprika paste, salt and some garlic. And voila! A hearty, spicy dish best enjoyed with rice. Bon appétit, or your étvajot.